All right, Saturday morning, pull day. Sun's just starting to crest the hill. We get our workout done and get on with our life. Let's go. I was 40. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, maybe I went a little fast, but I felt good, good tempo. I kept the tension in the back, hands gripped tight. And when I power up with my hips, really try and pull with your lats as you're coming up and use your core to explode up and then use your lats to Bring the rest of that band up. Kind of a all at once thing. Explode up with your core, your hips, and your back all at one time. Whew, that was a good pace. Oh, 
22 with the bent rows, dark gray band, and an underhand grip. And I maybe had 40 second break in between deadlifts and that. So still feeling the effects in the deadlift. So that was good. Get into it right away heavy, be done with it. Take a little bit of a break, get ready for some biceps. Oh, oh. was a light gray band oh, with the arm blaster. I think I got 32. And just trying to just try and keep that tension as much as you can, and trying to take the bar and bend it in, and really keeps that tension on the biceps when you're gripping that bar and trying to bend them in together. And then just when you get that, then you just want to slowly do your reps while you're trying to bend that bar in. Oh my God. And then just finishing off with just a, trying to get that bottom end to work a little bit harder down there with the, that little orange band. Whew.
642. Oh, and since I've been using the dark gray bands, I've been feeling it a lot more. Oh. 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 oh, all right, that was it for Saturday pool day. Got a day of rest Sunday tomorrow. I'm gonna go out and play some disc golf, so I don't know if I call it rest. I'm gonna be out uh, exerting some energy, burning off some fat. Uh, deadlifts went good, uh, 40 solid ones with the black band. Maybe a little bit faster paced, two up, two down. I like the three up, three down more slower but I, I was in a good groove with that at a good pace i didn't want to ruin it bent rows i just went heavy as i could with the dark gray and just tried to just pull as hard as i could with my back get into a good lock position where that low back isn't compromised a lot and just pull as hard as i could the uh, biceps the uh blaster i like the blaster but it really puts a lot of pressure on your chest and it's really pulling you forward so I tried to finish off with a little bit of kind of like dumbbell type work. And then I just did a little extra working on something here to try and get a little uh, singling out each arm and really working on the concentration on each bicep. Uh, maybe I'll do that a little bit more often, maybe not. I don't know. I was just trying to try something a little new, add it to the end of the bicep workout. Calves. Calves felt good. Since I've gone back to the dark gray band, I'm able to get more solid reps. Uh, getting up to about 30 when I really start feeling it in my calves, going as slow as I can. And then the, from the 30 to the 40, it's uh, everything I can to try and get those last 10 reps. So I'm liking that uh, dark gray band. I guess if I can get 60 with those, then I'll go back to the black band. But right now the dark gray band is where I'm gonna stick out. So that's it for, for Saturday. Workout's done. Time to go live our life. And we'll see you on Monday for push day.